Hi everybody, so now this video is going to be about what exactly you can expect once you've been accepted um, as a tester for usertesting.com and how easy it is to make money. Oh, just had a little ding. And when you hear that ding, that means there's a new test that just popped up. Okay, so a lot of times people will just keep this open here under available tests because if there are no tests available, if you keep it open, it will automatically refresh itself and pop up. Um, and when you hear that little notification, you can quickly jump in and, and check um, to see if you can be the one to take the test. So I want to go and click on completed tests. I have only done one test um, for this back in 2017 and I made $3 um, and as you can see there is a rating they rated me 4 out of 5. Overall good job on your first test although you were required to only spend 5 minutes on this peak test please note that most tests will take you around 15 to 20 minutes to complete. So for this test it was only $3 because it was only 5 minutes whereas other ones would take you would you would get paid probably like 15 to $20. Um, you focus on the tasks well and had a nice running commentary of your thoughts. For future tests, keep asking questions and adding comments to explain what you're thinking. Um, okay, so the more you explain why you do things and what you're expecting, the more useful your video will be for the customer. So that was just my feedback that I got from the first test that I did. Um, and that might help you when you're doing your jobs. So now the big thing, can you actually make money? So let's click on available tests. Now, I recommend um, using Google Chrome because when I, I usually use Firefox, I don't know why, I just do. Um, and if I am open this website up on Firefox, a lot of these tests will say uh, you can only use it on Chrome. And I've never seen a test say you have to go on Firefox. So I just recommend um, using Chrome. And also you can download the user testing app because there's lots of these different tests that says visit usertesting.com slash app on your mobile device to download and install it. All of these are for Mac or Windows computer. Okay, so here you see the test number and here it gives you an overview of what the test is. Now you're going to see this little message a lot. Um, our customers often require specific participants for their tests. You'll need to answer some questions to verify that you're a good match. So then you're going to click on Take Screener. So let's just try. Okay, so remember, please answer accurately to avoid getting disqualified and not receiving payments for tests. So they're going to start asking you a bunch of um, these questions. Are you an employee, contractor, or a consultant to any of these companies? Now, when you see things like this, I'm thinking that if I was an employee, contractor, or consultant to any of these companies, I probably am not on usertesting.com testing. So that's why I think these screeners are kind of stupid because I think a lot of the people they're looking for are not the people who are, you know, on usertesting.com trying to make five bucks. Anyways, click continue. Which of uh, the following options best describes your use of automation? Okay. All right, unfortunately, you didn't qualify for this test. So this is what happens. Sometimes you might do this uh, five, 10 times and you're not qualifying for any test. So you're kind of wasting your time. Um, so let's see if we can actually qualify for any of these. This is a good test. How interested are you in using any new websites on your computer um, at the moment? Very interested. See, I, did, <laughs> I didn't qualify for the test. Uh, I guess if I wasn't interested in using websites, I would be, I would qualify. Uh, I'm not an employee or contractor for any of these. And I didn't qualify. I just find it uh, hard to believe that someone who works for Google is on usertesting.com trying to make five bucks or 20 bucks. So I find it to be a little strange. This is an unpaid recruitment study for the op opportunity to be qualified for a custom panel of participants. Uh, unpaid? Well, why would I want to do this if it was unpaid? No, I'm not interested. So that's, that's even asking for free work there. That's crazy to me. So now, if you look, the only tests that are available are on the app. And now I feel like I want to install the app out of curiosity to see if that's any better. And obviously I'm going to do that for the purpose of this tutorial. 
Okay, so as promised, I have downloaded the user testing app on my Samsung, so this is Android. Here, I'm going to download the file. You can just go to usertesting.com slash app. Okay, then you can open your file. Agree to install the application by clicking install. Then click open or done. Now type in your email address and also your password. All right, and now it's going to fetch the tests available. So here you can just click on take screener. Now I'm narrating this because I've already done it, um, but as you can see, I'm answering these questions. And sorry, thanks for trying, but you didn't qualify. So again, it's like um, on the desktop or on my laptop. So I'm gonna try another one. Sorry, again, so you can see the types of questions they ask. They're very random. So as you can see, I tried all of the tests, all the screeners here, and none of them worked. Um, I didn't qualify to be able to, to do any of the tests, so it's very frustrating. But the good news is, is I did get accepted to do a test on my laptop, and I've recorded the video to show you how it works, and then to show you, you know, that I'm expecting to receive ten dollars uh, for nine minutes. I think it was of work, which is good. But I, I swear, I have taken so many of these screeners, and that's the first one I've got. So that's next. If you keep watching. Okay, so I've just been accepted to do this test finally. So let's see how it goes. All right, tutorial. Click on this blue widget to open and close the test instructions. Use this when you want to see more of the website. Give it a try. Okay. Open and close. All right. Next step. Tutorial drag and drop. Nice job. You can also drag the widget to the corners of the page in case it is covering something. Give it a try. How can I drag this? Oh, there we go. Drag and drop over here. Good. Next step. I'm ready, allow. I'm ready to speak out loud. No, I want to do my nano. Next step. Find a quiet place, hide windows you don't want recorded, speak your thoughts out loud, start recording. Be sure to share your screen, otherwise I only want to share this one. Share. Okay, so I am very excited. I just finished a test. I have pending $10. It's not been rated yet. I'm not sure how good I did because I was nervous for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I just basically explained. Uh, at the beginning, it was a rough start because I was a little confused by what they wanted me to do. But essentially, they just wanted me to go over a website and ask, they would ask me questions like, what do you think this means? Go. And then I'd have to be like, oh, I think that this means, um, you know, this is for premium members and this is for basic members. Uh, and, and if I was confused by something, I expressed that, like, I don't understand the question. I don't know what that means. I think the website is confusing. So yeah, I basically just talked a lot. Uh, 10 bucks, it took me like 12 minutes to do. So it's pretty good, really. But um, yeah, exciting, because finally, I've been taking I don't know how many screeners I haven't been uh, accepted for any of them. So finally, yes, 10 bucks. Uh, do I think this is going to pay the bills? No. Do I think this is like extra money for like beer with your friends or a coffee or something? Sure. Uh, if you can try to make 50 bucks a month on this, yeah, that's, that's your phone bill. Well, it depends on where you live. But um, that's your, you know, pays for your Netflix and your Spotify and your Amazon Prime. But anyway, it, it it's, that's cool. I'm encouraged by that. But honestly, this is the first one that I've been approved for. And I've taken so many screeners. So you know, you might, it might be the luck of the draw. Uh, the people who do the screeners first, maybe they're the lucky ones. Um, in this case, there was no screener, they basically said, take the test. Uh, and so that was great. So I just said, I clicked it as soon as I saw it. And so I was one of the lucky ones, I guess. But yeah, um, based on that, I think, you know, it's worth a try. If you have the app open on your phone, and you could just kind of play around with it. Um, see if you get any, um, 
And, you know, you never you never know. It could just be some side money, you know, 10 bucks a week, for example, or more even. So, yeah, that's basically my take on user testing. Don't quit your day job is my advice. But, um, you know, if you are making a little bit of money here and then maybe a little bit of money in another uh, website that's similar, which I will be doing a tutorial on a different one, um, then, you know, maybe you can try to make an extra 50 bucks a, uh, a week. That's an extra 200 a month. And, you know, that that can help as um, some, just some part time cash to to do whatever you want with. Um, I don't recommend these sites for a full time income. But yeah, for some part time cash, why not? Um, but definitely it's not stable. So you just have to be aware of that going in. Don't get so excited if you get approved because you will um, you will have to work really hard just to get a test. And then when you do it, it's super easy. If, you know, if they were throwing out these kinds of tests, I'd be doing them all the time because it'd be easy money. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'm very happy that I was able to end this video on a good note with my pending $10. So I'll see you next time.